All right, guys, so 3D season is over with, and I don't know what I want to do now. So, yes, I'm in a different vehicle. So, on my other channel, you guys have seen, like, a brief intro to this rig, and I'm thinking about over the wintertime, because this was not always just an archery channel. I mean, I used to do guns and other random stuff, but this right here is a 96 Ford Explorer all-wheel drive with a 5 V8. It's an awesome rig. Just needs a little love. Went over to a buddy of mine's house right now. I, I got a, I've got all the parts to rebuild the front end on this thing. I need to do it. But I'm thinking about this being like the archery wagon for next year. Plus, I'll have a little son too. And it'd be nice to have something a little bit bigger than my car to tote him around and it'd be awesome to have a good backup vehicle so if you guys are cool with it i think i'm going to take just a little break from the archery content and i'm going to focus on this now that's not saying that uh you know in a couple of months of course i'll be i mean i'm still going to shoot like at the house and, and everything but you know fling an arrow every once in a while and I'll probably still have a little bit of deer hunting stuff, but you know, I'm not really into deer hunting for say as much as my brother is. I might tag along with him and film some of his hunts for him, but I'm super ADHD. I don't have the patience to sit in the woods and wait on a deer. Plus, I know this sounds, <laughs> this sounds funny, but I just don't really have any desire to kill any deer. I just, I think they're, I like to just watch them. You know what I mean? But that, I mean, I've killed deer. It's just, I really don't want to go through the mess of having to process it because I've had to do it so much throughout my life, butchering and whatnot, it just gets old. I don't want to do it unless I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> oh, it sounds really bad. Plus, I do have my Ingalls job on the weekends, and I've been lacking the last couple weekends. So I got to get back focused there, start stacking the bankrolls back up, and um, get ready. Because in October, cross your fingers, Prime should have their newest bow out. And um, I'm going to try to land it. Uh, well, I'm going to land it, you know, just whichever it is. Now, the only way I will be getting a new Prime bow is if it's a target bow because it'd be hard to beat my inline five. But if they don't come out with something taller than the 35 inch axle to axle, I'm not going to worry about getting it because I don't see how they could improve much on what they have right now because the inline five is amazing my my um my black nine my uh my black series nine it shoots amazing as well i just shot my best scores yesterday i've never in my life shot up ever and on the last last one of the year i shot like a 262 which for me is awesome you know and the course wasn't necessarily set out hard either i mean it was a bow hunting course you know and I shot the known, or I shot the, uh, the bow hunter class first, and then I shot the known, uh, the known 40, which I make videos of. But now, guys, uh, I just want to jump on here and holler at everybody and, and see what you guys think, because I don't want the channel to necessarily sit stale, because it'll fall out of the algorithm, and it already has, because I, I haven't been uploading as much as I usually do. And like the the views have gone way down, so I think I want to do like a slight, slight restore on this thing. Like I said, it runs perfect. No check engine lights. You know, I mean, it's, I think it's got over. the The odometer stopped 12 years ago or 13 years ago at 137,000 miles, and I know my dad's probably put 200,000 miles on it. So I'd be, I would say when we when we bought it it had 137,000 miles on it. It never moved. So this thing's probably upwards of 400,000 miles and it still runs perfect. And the oil's always been changed like it should be. Kind of. But now that I have it, it will be. And uh, it's going to be good. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about tinkering with this thing just a little bit. You know, do a little, little uh, have a little archery wagon. It's just it's something just, just a little bit easier to uh, carry everything in. So, yeah guys, I don't know if y'all have seen this thing. 
but I'll do a walk around of it and let y'all see it.